hello viewers uh, welcome to go freelance tutorial today i'm going to show you how to do the nested for each loop in a c sharp with using the lint queue okay the here i have a two string array one is uh, u case and uh, l case it is upper case letters and uh, u l case letter so i want to uh, do the nested operations like uh, uh, a uh, with a uh, combination of uh, a a a b a b c and b a b b and b c so that is what all about here so how to do the nested operation and i want to write like this so how to achieve this is today's topic we i going to show you so before that uh, i want to write uh, uh, this in a string uh, uh, so normal string so for that i i am just uh, 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 creating one instance for a uh, uh, string builder to store those value in the string builder uh, and uh, uh, on uh, doing such a loop i going to append that in a string builder and i going to display you go to new just i create the new instance string builder okay then you can start at, uh, to do the loop so uh, first uh, I have to loop the uh, string uh, array uh, u case for uh, okay so where okay let uh, give the string string this is yes one I'll call in u u case okay okay inside of that I going to write one more uh, loop that make you the nested for each string yes to in l case okay okay so uh, uh, now uh, the loop is got uh, nested completely so what it will going to do is uh, initially for which if it is uh, hitted the s1 uh, hold y uh, caps a so then it will go inside the for each loop then it will loop the second uh, so here i going to write some logic sp means sb is a string instance string builder instance sb dot append line okay append the line with the s1 plus s2 So now uh, what I uh, did here is uh, I just uh, append uh, uh, S1 and uh, uh, with the S2 values. So now what the this loop will do is normally uh, you know uh, aware of uh, uh, you are aware of uh, how to uh, how the for each loop is working. So it will uh, hit the loop uh, and it will go inside. Mm, so it will hold the value initially the cap say then it will go to the for each and it will start executing this loop completely. So uh, S1 uh, remains A and uh, yes to it will be keep uh, looping so um l case first it will take the small a and b so likewise it will start appending a sm uh, caps a and small a caps uh, a with uh, small b caps a with the small c so then uh, this loop will get terminated and it will go again and again it will start the loop um, yes uh, yes one it will now holds uh, uh, caps b then again do the such a uh, same operation so let's uh, i will go write the same sp uh, to string dot dump okay so i gave the value for this dump uh, nested for each okay okay so now i execute the value so the same results which uh, what we uh, showed before it's ca uh, coming the same results so this is the way to achieve the nested for each loop hopes you understand please try it uh, from uh, your end so um, it, it is very simple so if you understand the basic for each uh, so nested loop is not that much complicated uh, this example is just for uh, reference so you can try uh, your own with a uh, mm, uh, with uh, parallelly about uh, so if you have uh, your own logic that you can apply and check it out thanks for watching the video guys if you have any red queries please comment us
please subscribe our channel if you not subscribe before to get a regular updates